Archie guys got another video here for you quite a few people wanted to know how to get Windows 10 May 2021 update which is the 21 H1 update from Microsoft you can see I'm running the version here 20 H2 on this system now if you want to get the very latest versions of Windows updates you can check out the Windows update feature on Windows 10 you may not see uh, the 21 H1 uh, release available to you as of yet because Microsoft are drip feeding uh, updates to certain people that can run the update. You may also see this in your Windows update which has feature update to Windows 10 version 21 H1. It's an optional download and install. You don't have to update and install it right away. Remember this is a feature update as well which is a big update and it's going to make major changes to the operating system. So if you're not happy with feature updates and you want to hold off for a while, then by all means do so. If you're one of those that can't wait, do a search for Windows 10 ISO in Google and go head over to the Microsoft website. You will see here there is an update for Windows 10 May 2021 update. You will see an update now and this will normally update to the very latest version of Windows 10. A tip here for you, it's usually a good idea to wait several weeks or even a months before installing a feature upgrade for Windows 10. Well, this will generally uh, reduce any sort of chance of running into any upgrade issues on your device. So if it's a mission critical system where you need that system to run smoothly, then you may want to hold off just a little bit until at least Microsoft release it to the general public the way they normally push out their updates in the Windows Update application. You can see here by using this tool, uh, you're going to be upgrading to the latest version of Windows 10. A warning is by using this tool, you are skipping the Microsoft slow rollout process and increasing the risk that you will encounter bugs on your PC and may otherwise have been fixed before hardware got updated. So bear that in mind before rolling out any sort of updates like this with this method, because you are forcing the issue to update to the very latest version of Windows 10. If you're happy with all of that, then by all means you can go ahead and update to Windows 10. I'm pointing this out to you because I know sometimes these updates can go a little bit wrong for some people and you may be then forced to roll back your system and even that can go wrong sometimes. So bear that in mind before forcing these updates on an early basis like this. So you can see the update is now ready and the PC needs to restart to complete the update process. It will give you a countdown timer here. You can restart later and skip that countdown timer or you can restart now. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. But when you restart, the update process will start just like this one and it will restart your PC a bunch of times. So bear that in mind. Once that's all completed, you will be updated to the latest version of Windows 10. If we do WinVer here, you can see we're on version 21 h1 which is the very latest version of windows 10 and again if we go to the updates feature a good thing about this update which i've noticed now is that it's not removing all of your settings uh, that you've got here so you can see here there's a bunch of settings inside here that i left and they've actually left those on the system and they've actually not been changed or gone back to default all the privacy settings all the background settings these have all stayed on the system and they've not been reset, which I think is a step forward from Microsoft because normally they used to reset all of those and you'd have to go through and basically put all your settings and tweaks back on. So it's not touched any of that stuff, um, which is surprising. You can see the Windows update is still being controlled by my organization, which is me, and I am set to manual updates so basically that's how I've got mine set and that's still in place after the update here, which I think is a good thing. So let's go to the recovery section here. Now you have 10 days to roll back if you encounter any bugs or any problems that makes your system unmanageable or unstable. You can go here and roll back. But remember, you only have 10 days to roll back to the previous version of Windows 10. If you are having issues and you need to roll back, it's always advisable to back up your data before going to the uh, previous version of Windows 10 using their rollback system because some things can go wrong and you can lose all your data. Now we're getting to the bit that people always like to know about, which is the known issues. There is a couple of known issues that Microsoft have listed. They may have also other issues that aren't listed on this website. This is on the Microsoft website, but there may be other ones that people are having 
This is to do with 5.1 audio, uh, Dolby Digital and other things like that. So bear that in mind before rolling out this update. If you look on the Windows 10 uh, forums, you can see here there is another direct download way of getting this by the Microsoft Update Catalog. It's KB5736 that you would need to download and run that on your system if you're running version uh, 2004 and 20H2. You can download this and run this on your system. This is just another way of getting the download. Now, you may see this come up here saying download uh, securely and you can keep this. This is directly from Microsoft's website. I don't know why it shows up with this red uh, warning sign here, but if you do download it, you will be downloading the very latest version of Windows 10 feature updates. Remember, this is a feature update and uh, it does contain some security features in here, but it is mainly a feature update, which is a very large update and does take some time to install on the system. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to get this installed on there. Now, also, I'm going to be showing you some information here that you can uh, read up about if you want to read up about this sort of stuff. I'll leave the links in the video description. It shows you about the improvements and fixes that they've done uh, with this latest update. Now, if you are running older versions like 2004 or uh, 20H2, you will still uh, receive security updates and updates from Microsoft with those versions of Windows. So there is no rush to literally run out and get this if you don't want to you will still have updates for those versions of windows for some time to come anyway the choice is yours whether you want to update your version of windows 10 right away or hold off for a while before you update to the very latest version of windows 10 that will be 21 h1 my name has been brian from brett at computers.co.uk hope you're having a lovely weekend just want to say a big shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.